a button. I did it. I'm so sorry. She did it. I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Oh my god. Maybe we'll maybe somebody will get on. Baby, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I hung up on you. <laughs> we got a cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was anybody on the last one that we just hung up on? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know. I can't believe I did that. I hit, I picked it up and I had this Hell sucker in my God hand and it hit it. Friend. Oh <laughs> Lord. Sorry. I was trying to scoot around so we could do this together, and I hit the wrong button. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, here, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Wait, I'm lolly, sorry, lolly, Michelle. Lolly, 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 and when he does, it's made me rock and dance. Oh man, I haven't got a chance. Cause I call him Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, 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 Okay, I did it. I did it. I hung up. I'm so sorry. I had this in my hand. And <laughs> I know, the, maybe I did. All the victims are scooting back in. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, These are solid. sour lollipops. All right, Five, ready? Four, three, two, one. Uh -oh. It's starting to get sour. That's good. Mm. Oh, Miss Judy, no. You cannot go anywhere. Miss Judy, you cannot. Ooh, she it's does. Right in my Is it? These are, it's sour, but it's not, probably, it's not, it doesn't seem that sour because those sour were, um, um, those other things are really Man. sour. Madge, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did that. Kimberly, I see your comment. I hung up. Hi, Sarah Beth. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Ruth. I hung up a while ago, and I'm so sorry. I did it by mistake. A follower sent them, and they came from... No, 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 not these. These, I don't know where they came from. Let me show you what they look like. They are called Mini Sour Carnival Pops. And they're really, really good. I'm sorry, I. I'm sorry, I hung up on y'all. That was I'm just not nice. With the, um, gun minis. Darla, me too. I think. Let me try another one of those gummies. Here Rub the stuff. Off okay, of here the we go. Gummy onto the sucker. Sick. Good job. Woo! Oh, well, those are really sour. Really sour. They make my eyes water. Uh, hey, Misha. Hey, Helen. Those taste so good. Ooh. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> Sarah Beth. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy
sing your lollipop song again. Okay. Lollipop, Wanda, I see your comment now. Sweet as an apple pie. And when it does, it's made me rock and dance. Oh, man, I haven't got a chance. Cause I call him Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, Lolly, 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 Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, Lolly, Lolly, Lollipop, a Lollipop. Ba boom boom boom. <laughs> um, let's see. I seen Miss De Debbie. I have them over there in a um, the sour hearts in a container over there. We've been eating those. They're so good. Um, and Miss Diane, I think it was you, Miss Diane. Are you having any kind of complications from the vaccine that you got? Um. Oh. No, it was me, Bertha. I In hit the button. The jungle, um. The jungle, the sour patch sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, yes, she did. Thank you so oh, much, sweet lady. Vicky. I had to go get one now. You had to go get a sucker. Yes, she's singing with Callie. Um, Dolly only gets to eat her dog food and she gets a treat every once in a while. She eats, um, I hope, um, taste of the wild, um, dog food. Oh, Miss Belinda, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, yeah. Arthur, Callie's service dog is called, is her name is Dolly Star. Dolly Star. Come here. Ashley, that's how she used Dolly to wear her again. hair all the time. Dolly again. And, um, and she, um, excuse me. And she, um, <laughs> what's she doing? Oh my gosh. And she, um, oh gosh, wears it like that. She wears, always wears it braided almost all the time. The gummies are called Extremely Sour Patch. Sour Patch Kids Extreme. I wonder if those were made out of them. Um... No, we're not going on vacation. No. We're just it's acting we crazy. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I know I'm going on a vacation because I'm sleeping upstairs in the dorm room for a few days. Oh, you are? That's my only way to get a vacation. Oh. So I'm on, go sleep in the jungle. I'm going to do the do upstairs in the jungle. Oh, room. I'm going to sleep upstairs. I'm having a vacation in my own home. <laughs> I'll be sleeping upstairs alone with Dolly Star. And we'll drink far. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we, we can't, we can't give her a treat Holly for doing, Molly. um, like any kind of command or anything. She doesn't get a treat, but we just give her treats because, um, just periodically during the day, if I, if we, um, want to give her one just because we just want to give her one, but we can't give her a treat because she does a command because she has to do her commands without getting treats. Um, so she said, Let's see. Um, I know, Kimberly. The the um, it's it's like that here also. Um, it's hard to get the the. Uh, she is in wrap. Um, it just depends on um, I guess like which sections they're calling to to be vaccinated like right now. So. No, we've never been to Arkansas. We're hoping, um, yes, yeah, she can make up some songs. Um, uh, oh, Miss Debbie said you're going to have to come up with some good challenges when she comes to visit after COVID. Oh, yes. Um, um, 
We could do a blindfolded challenge. Blindfold cat challenge. Um, what the she would love to go to the beach. She would love um, to go. Let me get the book over here because I feel so bad. It's so late. Um, no, Robert, I cannot believe that Easter is in a few weeks. I cannot believe that February is almost gone. Today, we have to tell y'all, today we found out that um, Dolly will be having um, her surgery and it's and it's it's we're having her stay because um, you know she's going to be Kelly's service dog, and so she won't be having puppies. So we're having her spayed on Tuesday. This is going to be hard for Callie, really hard for Callie. So y'all pray for her. Um, but I'm already struggling. Yeah, she's already struggling. So we are going to we're going to take her on Tuesday. So y'all um, pray about that because Callie. Um, has a really, really hard time since um, Do uh, Doodle passed away because we took Doodle to the vet and um, to the um, Blue Pearl, and he never came back home. So um, he passed away Where there. Is her surgery so going to be at? Like, it's, no, 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 no. Her surgery is going to be at the vet. Um, so, but she gets to come home um, the same day that she has her. Um, um, that she has her surgery, but she will, we have to keep her like really calm and down and, and she has to rest for two weeks. So listen at her and she knows it. Did you hear that? She's going, Ooh. are you having, are you, are you wanting somebody to feel sorry for you? She's I, like, ooh. You guys, please pray for me. I don't do good when she cries. So oh, I'm, she's good. She Oh, she's looking for Dolly. Dolly, get out from under there. Her toy's under there. She's crazy. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, because it, it really is going to be hard on Callie, but she's she'll do good, yeah, and she yeah. she only has to, oh. she will take her early that morning, on Tuesday morning, early, and it's in Marietta, so we have to be there early. And then we get, well, we will have to stay down there because Callie will not come two hours back home. Um, we'll stay down there in that area um, where she's at, and then she'll be able to come home. So, um, let's see. Um... Missing. Sorry, we left. Can y'all hear us? Okay, I, we left the um, the stand upstairs last night. So, um, and I'm trying to look this uh, thing up while I. Yeah, Dolly already knows. Today at training, um, she was. Um, she she knew that they. I mean, it's crazy. It's almost like she understands language, like the English language, and um, the trainer was calling the vet, and she was just like, Mwah! just a hollering. So funny. She's a sweet girl. She is such a sweet girl. Um, this is our playtime. Yes, it is. We'll okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do um, Daily Dose of Trulo because I know y'all guys are tired and ready for us to get off here and i'm so sorry it was so, and i feel like i'm all down up in y'all's face um i know it was late when we got on um and um it was we have been we had something on different on the show. road on the road again i just can't wait to get on the road again you guys i actually can because it's tuesday the love of my love is making me sick with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again, on the road again, like a band of gypsies we go down the highway, we really do, and on the road again, I just can't wait to get on the road again, the love I love is making music with Dolly, and I can't wait to get on the road again. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, gosh. Am I freezing up? Of course I am. Am I frozen? 
Oh, we're good. We're good. It's um, Callie's. Callie's on her second wind tonight. She's she is um, spurting out them songs tonight. Mm. Um, thank y'all. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so oh, tonight's daily that. dose is from Isaiah twenty five one. Mm -hmm. Let me find it really quick. Twenty five one. Um, it says, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of of old are faithfulness and truth. And we'll read that again. It says, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. And it's today's um, daily devotion is a beautiful plan. And it says, if you filled up a book with all the good things about God, the pages would never end. He is good. He's kind, loving, generous, just, and fair. While it might not seem like that sometimes, after all, the world of the world of full is full of bad things. God is always faithful and walks along side us in tough times as well as good times. He has a beautiful plan for your life, but he won't force that plan on you. Instead, he loves you by giving you the choice to follow his plan or to leave it. He knows his plan is best and it bubbles up from a heart that loves you deeply and knows you intimately. Will you trust him? And it's amazing whenever you um, think about how God's plan is and how God, um, how, and, and I know y'all have heard me say this, is how when you like say today and you're sitting and you're looking back and you're looking back at your life and you see how God's plan has been working. Um, you, I, I know I'm amazed at how um, he loves me and I'm amazed at how he wants good for me. He uh, wants the best for me. And all he asked me to do is just to follow his plan. Sometimes that's hard and sometimes we don't understand it. Today I was talking to a lady um, and my heart broke for her and and she is a sweet, 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 dear, dear, dear friend. And I, I mean, I just, she just, I, I just, I don't know. There's just, she's just the sweetest person. And she's going through a really hard time right now. And, um, and she said, I know God has a plan. And sometimes we don't understand his plan. Sometimes we wonder, and it's okay, we wonder why that things are happening and we don't understand what his plan is, but we have to trust because God only wants good for us and he loves us. And it says it bubbles up. It says he knows his plan is best and it bubbles up from a heart that loves you deeply and knows you intimately. So he knows us and he still loves us, even though he knows you know, our, 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 the stuff that we've done wrong or in, in stuff where we fail him and, and he knows our ever thought, but, and sometimes those thoughts aren't good. I'll just be honest. Sometimes we think, think bad thoughts it, because we're human. You know, those bad thoughts may be something bad about somebody or, or, you know, you look at something and you think, well, you know, they're just, they're just ugly or they're just being ugly or, you know, whatever. Um, sometimes we have bad thoughts and God understands that he still loves us. He still, he loves us and he knows who we are. He knows we're going to fail him, but you know what? He still loves us and he still wants the best for us. And we just have to trust in his plan. And sometimes just like today, you know, she said, I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know what's going on and I don't understand, but I know God has a plan. And, you know, my heart just, it broke, but then it hit me, you know, here she sits in a, in a place where she's hurting and she's wondering 
what in the world is going on and what's going to happen, but yet she's still trusting the Lord. And that's how we ought to all do. We ought to all trust him no matter what his plan is. And remember that when we, when we are wondering what his plan is and then sometimes you know we're, we're looking and we're thinking oh you know God's got us on this road and you know this is this is just this is wonderful and then all of a sudden a bumps comes a bump comes in the road that's what me and Callie calls them bumps in the road um but we still have to just trust that God God knows best and we got to follow him and we got to keep going and um and you know through those bumps in the road God gives us strength to face those, and he gives us um, strength to fight, to keep going. Um, and, you know, he does have a beautiful plan. Sometimes it's, it may not look like it right now. Um, April, he has a plan for you. Uh, I know, you know, what you're going through and, and what you've been through, it's hard. But you just got to keep trusting. And as Callie says, keep chugging along. Keep going. Don't give up. And keep going right on that path that God has for you. And that's what we all need to do. We've got to all just, you know, just trust God's plan and keep going. And and bless people along the way. And don't, don't you know, don't keep that from other people. Don't tell what God's done for you. Keep going and tell what God's done for you. You know, those struggles and those trials in your life, they, Callie always says they make you stronger. And use those to uplift somebody else and to help them because you never know. They may be going through the same thing you are um, and or what you just came out of and that you can bless them along the way. And, you know, God puts a special love in our heart for people. And I think that... that you know, sometimes we forget that, and I know I do. I forget, and I, you know, I, I, um, you know, pass people every day, and I, and and you know, you just never know what somebody needs. They may be on God's on God's. They may be on on God's path, but they've hit a bump in the road, and they just need a little bit of encouraging to keep going. Or they may not know God at all. And, you know, and, and they need to see that and they need to see, um, your beautiful plan that God has you on and his, and, and, and the path that he has you on and, you know, just being kind and being loving people and being sincere, being respectful, being, um, kind is it, it shows that, you know, God's in you and, and that, that you are living um, the way that God wants you to live and, and that you're you're trying to be as Christ like we're never going to be perfect never we're human we're never going to be perfect we're always going to fail we're always going to do things that are not um, you know that's not pleasing to the Lord sometimes I do it I do it every day I just I struggle and I I, I fail the Lord every day but you know we need to strive to do and be as Christ like as we can and we need to um, share that with everybody. And I think we need that more now than we've ever needed it. Um, and I think the world needs love more now than um, it's ever needed it before. Um, and so trust in God, trust his plan, and um, and just keep going. Um, I love the Lord. I love I love the Lord with all my heart, and like I said, I fail Him every day, and I, and I just, I just don't know why He loves me so much and why He keeps blessing me, because I do fail Him. I I was listening to a song on the way home, and I said this the other day about um, there's a song. It's called Patching It Up, and it says, um, you know, what if one day we called on the Lord, and the Lord just says, I'm through patching it up. I'm through. Um, um, you know, giving your, your, um, heart or, or healing your heart. I'm, I'm tired of patching up your messes because you keep doing it over and over and over, or you, you know, you keep failing me over and over and over, but God don't ever do that. God doesn't ever say, I'm not going to patch it up. I'm not going to pick up your pieces. He's always right there to pick up the pieces and put us back together. And, um, I'm so thankful for that because Goodness, if if he didn't do that, I would be a mess, and I would be it. I would just be a mess, and I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that the Lord loves me. He knows me. He knows 
every bit of my being and he still loves me. And I, and I still from, I just smile when I say that because it just amazes me that somebody loves me that much and he loves you that much. And, um, and I'm, I'm so thankful that all y'all are on here with us. I'm thankful that y'all spend the nights with us and, um, and that you support us and you encourage us and you help us every day. And, um, and I'm so thankful for that. But that was our daily dose of true love. Guys, look at Dolly. Absolutely, Melissa. Absolutely, we'll be praying. I know, you know, sometimes, um, you know, that we have prayer requests and, and, and we have things on our heart. You know, God knows our heart. And he knows, he knows what your request is. He knows what my requests are. And, and isn't it amazing that God can be everywhere at one time? He's not, and he's, he's always right there with all of us. It's amazing. And Dolly is sitting here. Let me, let me turn this around. Um, look at this. She's playing with her toy. Oh, Georgia, I know. Sweet girl, I've been praying for you, and I'm so sorry. We're praying for you and your family. Ain't she precious? She's the, she's the, Oh, Frida, we're praying for she's you. She's such a blessing to Bless me. Bless your heart. Praying for you, sweet lady. You know what, Mom? Thank you, Sonia. What, baby? Dolly means everything to me. I know she does. If I lost her, I don't know what I would do. Mary, we're praying for your Uncle Ma Walter. Absolutely. Will you please? Yes, Jeannie. Oh! Lisa, thank you, because I just about did. Let's do the heart. Um, somebody give me, um, and somebody may have already, because I think I seen one while ago, but I was talking, and I and I have to get so up close. Um, oh, Tina, bless your heart. You just keep trusting in Him, sweet lady. Trust in Him, and just and and just keep going. I know sometimes. You know, sometimes I never, I don't know what y'all face because I, you know, I mean, everybody, everybody is different and everybody faces trials and troubles in their life. But I, you know, I don't know what each and everybody goes through, but I, I do know that, that I can pray and I know one that does know what you're going through and I do know one that can help you face those things that you're going through and, um, and I mean it, I mean it, and I, my family means it when we say that we will pray for y'all, and, and we do every day, and there's not a day that doesn't go by that me and my husband don't sit and talk about, um, you know, maybe a message that we got, or all the, the comments on, and he sits, and I'll be honest, he's, he sits and reads the comments like, I'll read the comments, but he reads them over and over and over, and he sits and prays when he uh, reads the comments. So, I'm just, I'm thank y'all so much for always being on here and, and trusting us to um, to pray for y'all and to, um, and, um, and you'll never know what y'all mean to us, ever. I could never in a million words explain what y'all mean to our family. Okay, so Miss Kaylee or Miss Misha, I can't say I, I keep reading your name. Psalms one three. Okay, let's read that. Let's read Psalms one three. Hold on, let's see. Sorry, I'm looking my. Yes. All right, it says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Love that. So Psalms 1-3. Uh, we have a, um, a, a, a children's home um, that we've known forever. Um, they... Um, say this this the psalm one they quote that and um i love that the Boy, mcgill's sorry. girls home victorious valley girls home um and they are absolutely amazing if you ever have time look them up on youtube it's called victorious valley girls home look them up on youtube and they sing and our youth choir sings a lot of their songs that they sing 
All right, guys. So we got our Psalms 1, 3. We got our heart. Um, we love y'all too. I'm um, a little bit emotional. You're right a little bit now. emotional? Yeah. Oh. Just. We love you, Miss Pam. Um, Callie's thinking about Dolly going to the going to the doctor, but she's got to have it. Um, she's got to have that done, and we know she'll be in good hands. She'll be back with Callie the same day, so y'all pray about that. Um, yes, Kathy, I will. That is Keith's favorite verse. Um, Proverbs, let me, whoops, I about dropped the phone. I almost, I almost hung it up again. Okay, let me, um, let me find it. Psalms, Keith can quote it, but I can't. Psalms, um, okay, Psalms 3, um, 5 and 6. I think that was what it was, right? Huh? Proverbs. I mean, <laughs> see, Keith's in, the, in there going, Proverbs, Proverbs. I said it wrong, not Psalms, Proverbs. 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understandings. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That's amazing. Trust in the Lord with every bit of your being, and he'll direct your paths. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. I love it. Let's see. All right, guys. We are going to hop off here. Callie's, Callie's getting emotional because um, of Dolly. But don't worry. Don't you worry, sweetheart. Miss Darla said she'll be good. She'll be doing good. She don't have to stay. She gets to come right home. Um, and she even said if we get her there early, I mean, we have to get her there early, but the, if she comes, if she gets done and then she wakes up and then she eats, then we might can pick her up earlier in the day. So, um, but we have to, you know, we have to get that done. And I know it's, it's emotional for Callie because of, you know, everything that went on with doodle and all, but, um, she, um, everything will be good. Oh, thank you, Miss Laurie. Yes, she will do good. We know she, we we tr we're trusting in the Lord. We got to just put our trust in the Lord that He will take care of her, and um, and she'll get this done, and then be home and be be good to go. I'm sorry, I'm crying. It's okay. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Um. I just worry about her. I know you do. I know. Um, and rightly so, because, I mean, I know that, that it's hard, you know, with what we went with, with Doodle, what we went through with him. I know it's hard for Callie, and, and, um, and it's okay, and I told her that it's okay to be, you know, to, to be worried and to be, um, um, you know, worry about taking her and all that stuff. It's absolutely fine, but she knows that, um, she's just so, I know she's big, but she's still tiny and she's still a puppy. Absolutely. I know, sweet girl. Jeanette, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll be praying for him. Um, I don't know why. It's okay, baby. It's all right. It's just... No, Carol. So sweet. She just, just has the sweetest I, I heart. Can't, I just. It's okay. I didn't think that it would be this hard to do it all over again, but. I know. Miss Melinda said she's had six dogs fade over the years and always a happy ending and everything will be fine. Yeah. Thank y'all. I mean, it's not really hard. It's, it is hard, but it's just the surgery part is what's really hard. I didn't think that it would be hard to do all that over again. Oh, I know what, darling. It's sweet. You're sweet. I love you. She's just going in to be spayed. I worry, she's I not, worry she's not about... sick or anything like that. She's just going to get spayed. I worry about her when she gets older, too. I know it. That's, like, you know what? What if she gets cancer and it does the same thing? And no, we're just, we. you know what? You know what? We just talked about that. What do we say we have to do? Trust. 
That's exactly right. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And, and, oh, Billy Joe, bless your heart. We just have to trust in the Lord. Um, I was fixing to say something. I'm um, so sorry. It's okay. It's all right, sweet girl. We, um, it's, um, Yes, she's gonna go. She's gotta go get spayed, and um. If I don't, I have to cry now because I have, I have to be strong for her. That's exact. Oh, oh, oh! I know what I was gonna say. You know what that is? That's just being a mama. Yeah. 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 That's just being a mama. Yes. Absolutely. Sometimes those mama pains are hard. You know. Sweet girl. Oh, Michelle, bless your heart. Um, the struggle's real over here. The struggle's real? That's exactly right. Ugh. Oh, Miss Debbie said, Callie, I cry when I take my dog to have her teeth cleaned. I want her with me. And that's how <laughs> Callie is. Cal, that's exactly how it is. Callie, well, y'all seen her this morning. Bless her heart, sitting on the toilet doing her school while I was trying to get ready and Dolly's right in there with her, right laying at her feet. She's so, so sweet. She just, she's always right with Callie. Um, with thank Doodle, you, it, Misha. With, with Doodle, it was easy to, like, go to, like, you know, just go somewhere because we went everywhere with mm -hmm. him and he was used to not being with us all the time. Yeah. She is, though. Yes. I think that's why it's so hard. Yes, it is. But you know what? She did good when she went to the groomers. Yeah. And she did really good. And she come out just as happy as she could be. Yes, those mama pains are hard, ain't they, Miss Nancy? And she'll come out just then. Just She'll be so excited to see you when she get, comes out. And you know how... That vet loves Golden Doodle, so I am sure that she will be treated like a princess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. We love you guys so much. Thank y'all for being on here with us. Um, we got another, we got to, to do um, another tomorrow, Daily Dose of True, True love. love. Oh, you okay? Yeah, my eyes itching. <laughs> Yeah, well, I have to tell y'all this. And when she just did her eyes, her sister, when she was little bitty, when Callie was little bitty, she would rub her eyes just like she was just doing. And every time she did that, it made her sister cry because she said it was the saddest thing she'd ever seen her doing her eyes like that. So if Delaney's still on here, she's probably crying. Oh, my gosh. Why is it sad? I don't know, but every time you would rub your eyes, Delaney would cry. I mean, you're supposed to rub your eyes. That's how you get the sleepy <laughs> off of us. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just All right. kidding, you guys. I think I'm going to go to go bed. Be tired. I have a headache, and I'm tired. really tired. Bless yeah. her heart. She's, it's been a long day. We Every, love you guys. Everything is going through my mind right now. Oh, yeah. Dolly, she's, she's, oh. <laughs> Dolly, are you stuck? What happened? What happened? Dolly, no, ma'am. No, I, I, leave it. Good girl. Good, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> All right, guys, we love you so much. Thank y'all for being on here. We will see you back tomorrow night for another daily dose of True Love.